Hey guys, it's me, JC, and welcome back to Gone Home. So, actually, I don't even have my controller plugged in. There we go. Resume. Hopefully it's exactly where we left off. Okay, well, we're in the basement. I have to get, uh... So I've read, a, I've read a couple things down here. Okay, let's turn on this light. Put some light on the situation. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Hmm. This is really bad writing. Hey, Sam, I'm writing you to... I'm writing to you from... Multinoma Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as <laughs> shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh. Shirt. Hear you. Huh? Got really messy at the end there. It seems really dark down here. I mean, I guess that's how basements are. Okay, who has, keeps this many newspapers? Are you serious? Mason's pharmacy changes hands. The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's pharmacy would change ownership from the first time since opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation about the deal had been signed for as little as one dollar. Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now hold oh, that rain is loud proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy told the register the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason has taken sick and was unavailable for comment. What does this have to do with anything? I'm not sure. Oh. Go back there. I'll go back there later. There's other things to explore here first. A room off to the side. Is this like a spare room? Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Club Scout. Set list, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self goes. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. Till then, I'm going to 
to be at every single show. Hmm. So this is from Yolanda DeSoto to Samantha. Okay. Dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson X Fly Mosca. Okay. I'm so happy you like the drumming. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I think you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the, the first mate lost on a mister, mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. <clears throat> and then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay, but I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Lonnie. Ti amor. So, <clears throat> sorry, I worked out today and whenever I work out like hard, <clears throat> I always have to get the phlegm out of my throat. So, she said her name was Yolanda on the, on the cover, but it, this is from Lonnie. Suspicious. Garbage. Mm, just garbage, I guess. There's a sink in this room? That's weird. This is a bedroom, isn't it? Like a spare bedroom? Can we listen to this? Well, I don't need to listen to that. Oh, does it say something on it? Girl Scout. Okay. Oh, that's dark. Oh, I thought this was a closet. I guess not. First floor plan. We've been all over the first floor. Oh. A combination. Uh, back. Hmm. I don't remember seeing a combination anywhere. I think I can come here yet. Um, Ross is watching TV and I can hear him beat laughing. Sorry if you can. Uh, I think that's everything in here. Oh. United States of America. Certificate of does that say naturalization? Where is she from? Is she married into somebody from the states? Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember how much I read down here before I stopped the episode. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm just trying to remember all my buttons. Okay. I don't think there's a zoom in button or at least I cannot. Can't find one. 
Okay, let's go back here. This house is gigantic. Holy crap, it just keeps going. That's a lie. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of Peripheral costumes, skeletons, and devils, cheerleaders from the smell like teen spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Four dollars. Who needs this much stuff? Women's Outlaws. This show, yeah, who runs things around this joint. She's tougher than a wild mustang. No female's gonna tell me yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Grab highlighter. Yeah, that's okay. Captain A. This one's for you. Huh. Kicking against the patriarchy. Interesting. Oh, wait. She made this or did she just draw it? Pillow? Why would I want a pillow? Oh, there's a cassette down here. Heavens to Betsy. So, I could uh, play this to see what this is, I guess. my thing. Okay. Uh, now we gotta go all the way back. And I don't think there is no sprint feature. Oh good, my cat is using the litter box. Yay me. <laughs> so we can go that way or we can go this way. Just, there's literally so much to explore. been here? Where are we now? Textbook? Oh, it's a Spanish textbook. Offer of promotion. Bruce Pendleton, State of Personnel, State Forestry Service. Dear Head Conservationist Greenbrier, due to your Exemplary management of the flint lock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director, responsible for operations throughout northwestern Oregon. Your assistance would be sought to fill your previous position on site at the Flint Lock National Forest. Your new posting would be at the Regional Management Building located at 128 Bullhorn Road, which should be much more convenient for your daily commute. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We will very much look forward to your reply. Oh, that's nice. Promotion. Hey, 
Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she is home she takes it out on you because like because you're not a member of the family she knows you won't call her on it and I'm sorry really haha it's okay I know she's just jealous of our cool and freewheeling lifestyles I feel sorry for you I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida you have to have a mom every day so I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that I know I shouldn't complain no I'm being serious my mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband Don is a complete tool living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind so you wouldn't rather live in Florida with your live your so you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida oh she does not like it. kind of teenager um oh here we go actual light switch teenager magazine where are we i'm very confused oh what does that say guardian angels up above bless this house with lots of love that's cute. I guess we'll just keep going. Gosh, I feel like the only person who would need this size of house is somebody who has like 10 kids. Uh, Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico and it was like three bucks American. I love it. Merry Christmas, love you, L. P.S. Treasure it always. What's, there's no skull in there. Hmm, she must have taken the skull. Oh, lights. A beautiful invention. <laughs> Purse? Uh, I don't think I need to look at that. Pamphlet. Manual for force your- oh, boring. Hi Jan, I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rich? Is that what that says? Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. Do I keep burping? Maybe I shouldn't film right after I've eaten supper. <laughs> Like sometimes it's like the only time I have time in the day. Disciplinary referral. Student. Mm, Samantha Greenbrier. Uh, description of behavior or incident. Disturbing. Di oh, sorry. Distributing inappropriate materials. On school grounds, disciplinary action, phone call to students' parents, out of school suspension. Wonder what it was. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, when your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is 
the last word on the matter, get back on course so this won't have to happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. She's I've good. known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad or disappointed or start crying or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. <laughs> huh. I mean, I guess if you're like stupid Christian or something, maybe you would. That's how you would act. Hi, Mom and Dad and Sam. The vacation is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of many left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and the sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't. I won't get gored by a bull. That's what it is. Gored? Probably. Love, Katie. Oh, her vacation sounds awesome. Jeez, that's a lot of paperwork on it. This Look at how big this table is. Like, why would you need a table that big? Okay, what do we got? First off, congratulations! Janice Greenway, original director, and I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you writing for? An engraved invitation? Call them back! But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast. But you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You're sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters. I owe you a congratulatory margarita boss lady soon, Carol. Aw, that was a cute message. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. A tissue, an empty tissue box. I'm good. The accidental warrior. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh. Yeah. When you have to be creative all the time, I can I would assume it would be difficult. When you're a writer like that. This house. So, I came from there, right? So. I finally found the kitchen! How long did that take me? Sam's schedule. Working at Crown Burger on Brethel Road. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Patermack. Sunday the 4th of June, 1995. 
at half past four o'clock in the afternoon. Who talks like that? Okay. I don't know why I would need to open the microwave. Put away the dishes? What the heck? That's so weird. Oh, now a dish is stuck. Okay. Why are these cupboards empty? It's kind of weird. Oh, it looks like they were in the middle of a renovation, maybe? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Pretty big pantry. Potato chips. Oh, pfft. whoops. Oh, that's how I zoom in. Russian dressing. Oh, well, I tried to put it back on the shelf. <clears throat> Is there anything interesting in this kitchen? I don't really see anything. Pizza box, empty pizza box. <laughs> What's this? Here we go. <clears throat> Samantha and Danielle were in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were in an adventure, but they went to the uh, something part of the woods and it got dark. Danielle said, are you scarred? So Samantha said, no, are you? They laughed and w went more into the bad part. Then they went to a part that was never there before and then was a ship, a pirate ship on an ocean Samantha said, I'll be the captain and you'll be the first mate. Danielle said, I, I, captain, and they went on the pirate ship and started sailing away. Oh, Daniel finally came over to get his game. <laughs> I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Hmm. I'm like worried to listen too much to this music because my first video got copyright claimed. I'm not making money off of my videos, but if I did in the future, I wouldn't be able to monetize the video. Oh, the accidental savior. So. This is uh, like a sketch of the book, cover of the book, maybe? Okay, what's through here? Oh, the garage. Uh. Sam. Your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June 3 to 7. We will be coming... We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Ah, I guess sorry. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table in order... To to order pizza while we're gone, be good, Dad. Well, there was an empty pizza box in the kitchen. 
so I think she took you up on that offer. Nothing else here, I don't think. So I think we can keep going down this hallway. Jeez Louise, I cannot believe how big this is. Can you imagine cleaning this entire house? Home cook. Oh, for some reason I thought I could walk in there, but I cannot. Okay, this looks like a boring bathroom. That light switch did not do a whole lot. Oh, the laundry room. Okay. I'm not sure where we're gonna find this code for the for the safe. I'm like, why would we need to get in there? But I'm guessing it's there's something important in there that we need. Oh, and they have a little greenhouse, cute. This is probably where he does all of his uh, writing, maybe? Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for this and sending along copies of the new ed editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It is reflexive and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that unknown dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for unknown dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures hadn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Thanks and regards, Terrence L. Greenbrier. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Intriguing. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this episode here. Uh, I don't know how much more is left of this game. This house layout is very confusing and very large, um, but we will get there in the end. Uh, if you did like this video, leave a like so I know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.